I'm CG, and I'm back! I'm so happy to see you here! Today, we'll be discussing a very interesting topic! Today, we'll be learning how to solve two-step linear equations! Let's jump right into it! Let's begin! Linear equations can help you find an unknown number in math, and you've probably been doing them without even realizing it. For example, imagine you're starting up a baking company. Let's call the company Bakey Treats. The company has startup costs of $300. Because everyone loves your cakes and cookies, you make $150 a month. How much profit are you making in, let's say, six months? Well, you make $150 times six. That's $900. Now, we have to take away the startup costs. 900 minus 300 is how much? Easy, right? Your profit over six months is $600. Yep, that was a linear equation too. Six times 150 minus 300 equals Y. Let's see how to solve them. There's a super fun game you can play with your friends and teacher to help you with this. It's called Guess My Number. The guy in the yellow shirt is thinking of a number. Let's call that number Y. He tells his friends that if he multiplies Y by 7 and then takes away 4, he gets 17. Can you work out what Y is? 5? Maybe two? Let's see. There are a lot of ways we could find the answer. Let's look at one of these ways, called trial and improvement. This is a quick way to solve the problem. What you need to do is work backwards. Yes, backwards. Let's do it. We start with one possible answer. Five. Five times seven minus four is 31. Hmm, that's too big. We're looking for 17. Let's try two. Two times seven minus four is 10. That's too small. Okay, so five is too big and two is too small. We need something in the middle. Let's try three. 3 times 7 minus 4 is 17! Yes, we did it! Okay, that's one way to solve linear equations. Now let's look at another. This one is called function machines. You may have seen this before. Let's say we have to solve the equation 5y plus 6 equals 16. So, if we put our machine on reverse, we'll do opposite math operations. The opposite of adding 6 is taking away 6, and the opposite of multiplying by 5 is dividing by 5. Are you following so far? Good! So, we have 16 minus 6 divided by 5. What's the answer? Yes! You got it! Y must be 2! Okay, now we have one last method to talk about. It's called the balancing method. This is the best method to use when you move on to harder equations. Let's imagine we have this equation. It looks a little tricky, no? Okay, let's simplify it. Imagine a set of scales. You always want them to balance, right? The same on each side. On one side, you have three X's and four boxes. On the other side, you have 19 boxes. Because we want to keep the scales nice and balanced, if we remove something from one side, we have to remove it from the other. Let's take the four boxes from the left-hand side. And of course, we also take four boxes from the right-hand side. Now we have a much simpler equation. 3x equals 15. 
what's the answer? Yeah, you're right! X equals 5. Well done! Here's what that looks like mathematically. Great job! That's it for linear two-step equations. Want to do some more practice? I have tons of practice exercises for you on my website, so you can be an expert in no time. Thanks for studying with me today. See you at the next subject.